Inflation rate is cooling, but as you know, prices are still high on plenty of things, and that's proving to be a tricky recipe for the restaurant industry. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal is in downtown Tampa with the story. Lenny. Good evening, Jen. Yeah, it's very difficult for all of us to hear because it will likely be that way for quite some time with food prices still soaring. But tonight, there's also a key ingredient that has some restaurant owners worried even more. A busy lunch rush at Eddie and Sam's New York Pizza. Business may be bustling, but manager Mike Sarmont still creating a strategy to meet his bottom line. We do more advertising, we give discounts, uh, like online ordering discounts, uh, because online ordering kind of like saves us on the labor part. That way we don't need to answer the phone. Sarmat is familiar with the squeeze of soaring inflation. As food prices continue to climb, he's staffing fewer positions. Every ship we have, between 10 and 14 employees. Now we have eight to 10. However, the conversation about inflation could be changing. The latest consumer price index offering a glimmer of hope. Annual inflation cooled last month to its lowest level over the last two years, but there's still many setbacks. Food prices outpacing overall inflation, jumping more than 7% over the past year. The price of cereal and baked goods rising 12%. But it's that last ingredient on the list that has pizza shops and bakeries feeling the heat. The cost of flour climbing 18%. Not taking too much of a toll on us yet, but we're trying to ease through it. Summer Bailey is the executive pastry chef at the Boulan Brasserie. Flour, a key ingredient in her top selling desserts. Even vanilla beans and, and now they're saying flour and eggs and, and the, the cream. I mean a lot of that's pastry. You know, my creme brulee in and of itself is yolks and heavy cream and vanilla bean. The Boulan bakery just opened two months ago. So far, business has been better than expected. But she's still finding a creative way to keep the cost to her customers at a minimum. We don't really want to raise our prices. We don't want the customer to have to pay more. And she also went on to say that hosting specials is a great way to cut costs for customers. Now, when it comes to that inflation report, it's very challenging news for the restaurant and food industry, but there is a glimmer of hope, at least for the travel industry. We understand that airline fares are down just a bit from this time last year, so at least that's right in time for the busy summer travel season ahead. Reporting live in downtown Tampa tonight, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.